Shattered Lalands Advent Calendar Vlogs, where every day of December we'll be showing you how we prepare for Christmas here at the Chateau. Yep, we've got loads of tricks and tips for you, and if you don't want to miss a thing, hit subscribe, click the notification button, and you'll not miss anything. Here's today's video. Michael has just let me know that apparently this is not an acceptable Christmas look. So he's taking me in hand and sorting this out. What's your problem with my current look, Michael? Nothing, you look fabulous. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but we can do better. And I mean, it's got to the point where there is, yeah, what's roots, what's, what's, <laughs> is it meant to be like that? I like the fact that even your labels for the dye are quite festive. <laughs> and there we are. Christmas hair complete. Right, time to wash. Well, colour's done, but there's still a long way to go to make me look presentable. I'm feeling a little bit tense because this is how I look. In 55 minutes, we have to be downstairs at a party with two Michelin starred chefs. You're my secret weapon. Can you fix this? For Christmas? Christmas miracle, please! Of course I can. <laughs> <laughs> and look, I couldn't, I've been looking for makeup because you didn't bring your makeup. I haven't got anything. There's a sock, so <laughs> that could be useful. Yes. Concealer? Yes. Oh, yeah, we'll be needing a lot of that. We'll be needing all of that. <laughs> <laughs> this might be nice, really nice um, Silver Dusk Mac circa 1996. Okay. Excellent. What about a Christmas smoky eye? Okay. It's going to look great for anyone. Look, I, like, at this point, Christmas, I will let you do anything Christmas to party. my it's, face. It's pretty easy. Shall I run and get us a whiskey before we start? Please. Yes, I'm going, I'm going. This is an emergency. <laughs> and so the process begins. We may be some time. <laughs> this is basically one of the first things that I learned at MAC. You literally start putting black near the root and then pressing powder onto it and blending it out. And then you put more pencil. And then you put more powder on and blend it out. And then you start smoking it out. Obviously, now what's going to happen is the edge here is going to look really scruffy. And that's because black it's not going to blend into your flesh tone at all. No. It's just not going to happen. It'll just look a mess. Okay. So then the trick is to take a soft, taupey brown colour and to blend it over the joint. Oh, that's and why then, I've been going wrong all of yeah. these. I've always wondered why I could never get it to blend. And properly. you can't, you'll never really, you won't really see the brown, but it will just soften that blend. And then you'll then blend that into a flesh coloured eyeshadow at the top. So you need black eyeshadow a very light taupey brown colour and then like a flesh colour. Do we have all of that? You have all of it, yeah. And you just keep blending. And an eye. So we have everything we need. Oh, the eye is um, helpful. <laughs> you can't say I haven't brought something to the table. <laughs> this is the epitome of multitasking. Whilst you're doing my makeup, I'm curling my hair. <laughs> I apologise in advance if I prod you with a red hot poker. <laughs> I'm wearing a, a long red Aussie Clark dress tonight. Yeah. And so I think my hair has to be super 70s and massive, really yeah, massive. Yeah, it really does. Now the key to good eye makeup is a soft brush, very, very fluffy soft brush. Fluffy. And just blend, blend, blend. Well, my hair's done. That's finished. <laughs> That's my final look. No, I don't think so. If you don't really wear makeup very often and you want to look really glamorous, there's nothing better than a smoky eye. It really makes a statement. Smudge a bit between the bottom lashes. Look right up. What do you mean between the bottom lashes? Well, uh, see, if you just put it in the waterline, yeah. it's just going to look, oh. you know, it's not going to look very smoky, is it? It's just going to look like a black stripe on your eye. So you need to smudge it down in between the bottom lashes a little bit. And then we're going to go in with our brush and dab some black eyeshadow powder onto it and then smoke it down a bit. Halfway through the proceeding, I would say that I've gone from looking tired and unglamorous to just looking dead now. So is this a case of it's got to get worse before it gets better? It always gets worse before it gets better. Close your eye. You've got to trust me on this one, Steph. What I'm saying, Michael, is downstairs, two Michelin starred chefs, Super Bowl champion, many, many very glamorous women. Mm -hmm. Look up. And <laughs> just put your eye primer on first. Do your eye makeup. Do not put your concealer or foundation on. And do your eye makeup. And then that way you can get it perfect. You can drop powder all over your cheeks. And then you can use a cotton pad with some makeup remover. And you can clear up all the mess. And then you can go in, blend your concealer around the edges of your eye makeup. And then you do your foundation outwards from there. And okay. then you'll have the most clean, perfect look. This is the most important part of the entire process. Every time I look into this camera. I get a little bit more worried about my final look tonight. 
Anyone else worried at this stage? <laughs> Most of you who've seen any kind of makeup things on YouTube will have seen people who have sponsorships from incredible makeup companies and really pristine setups. And we're looking through a shoebox of makeup, most of which is 30 years old, to try to put this look together. Michael's working under difficult circumstances. So if I can... If I can do a good job out of this, then I can just job out a good job out of anything. But I think actually most women probably in the same situation as me, have well, all the makeup go. they've ever bought in some sort of shoebox somewhere. Let's see what we can do with it. What in God's name is the size of that brush? It's a paintbrush. You're using my paintbrushes. What do you think makeup brushes are? That is almost identical to a MAC foundation brush that I use, which costs, costs about £30. That's my edging brush for painting rooms. It's the same thing. <laughs> you really do know how to make do. <laughs> We have now nine minutes till the party. Mm -hmm. Nine, nine minutes. That's fine. Oh, look, look, everything's happening behind me. People getting ready. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting undressed. Okay, but you're literally in my... Right on the camera. <laughs> now, luckily, I am hiding you for your modesty with my head, Marie. <laughs> so I have a genuinely nice lipstick, not from the bottom of the shoebox. And what's this? This lipstick queen, an amazing red. Velvet rope. Okay, I feel much more human now. Fair enough, Michael. I see where you were going with it. Now, um, I think I better brush the hair out. Nearly there, that'll do. Are you genius? Are you genius, Michael? How are you doing that so fast? Okay, great. There appears to be an open bottle of champagne before me. Would you like some? Uh, of course. <laughs> do you need to ask? <laughs> this is one of those, every night should be like this night. Oh, if you want to see more of our beautiful party and all of the fun that we've had at Lalande this week, then you can watch the Chateau Diaries, which will be out later today.